Hi, my name is Hope Chula, and I will be discussing um, Horace Miner's article on body rituals among the Nasarima. So he's talking about this Nasarima culture, which is um, supposed to be the American culture. And upon further research, I kind of found out that Nasarima is America, spelled backwards. And after reading this article, I researched it more and kind of was it was i was very freaked out by it because of his wordage and the language he uses to describe this culture um yeah so it was very interesting um he talks about rituals among this american culture this nasarima culture he talks about medical miracles and um he uses weird language to disguise this western culture he talks about how the Nasarima culture sees the human body as very ugly and works very hard to change it. So um, I think this can also be seen as like our plastic surgery and the stuff we do to make ourselves look better and seem better and higher above other cultures and countries. Um, he calls dentists holy mouth men and he takes regular practices in the American culture, such as marriage, dentistry, and intercourse, and makes them seem terrible through his language and very, very culty. Um, he says intercourse is a taboo and is scheduled, and he talks about the practices to prevent pregnancy that this culture, Nasarma culture, American culture uses. Um, he talks about ceremonies in the houses and how every family has a shrine that they go to and do these crazy rituals and kind of culty practices. He portrays it in a very culty aspect. Um, and he talks about how every family has a shrine and water, the priests have water they need to make holy, kind of talking about holy water in our churches and through like Christianity and all that stuff. He calls them magic ridden people. And he makes it, he just makes it seem very culty, kind of scary. Um, he talks how, he talks about how dentistry uses um, the holy mouth men and they like drill holes in the teeth. They make themselves look better how the people of this culture um, are very eager to practice these rituals and things like that. He also talks about how our magic is not in the best interest of our people and how these practices are kind of miracles. So it's seen, it can be seen from an outside perspective as very scary from say a third world country's perspective looking in a first world country, America or Nasarema, we can be portrayed as very culty individuals through our me magic medical practices and our worships. And he paints the American culture in a really interesting and kind of scary light through exaggeration and word choices, um, like I discussed. Um, so one thing that I kind of wanted to talk about can be the worship from an outside perspective. He talks about the very culty aspects of worship and how every family has like these shrines, like I said, and I mean, I can understand how this can be blown out of proportion. You know, people see Christians, can they can see Christians as very crazy and you're worshiping this omnipresent individual and say church camps can be seen as very very weird you're sitting around a fire worshiping and singing these songs that everyone knows the words to and i can see how people be like how do you know the word how does everyone know the words to this and why are you reading from this one book that you're basing your entire life off of and you're sitting around a fire singing these songs or in this um you're gathering in a church in this place of worship you're all dressed nice you're singing these songs listening to this pastor doing this holy water stuff um it can be seen as very weird and interesting but um 
through history this has kind of changed. I mean, I know Catholics were very strongly considered Christians and they did a lot of different practices, um, but non-denominational Christians have really kind of tried to integrate into the American culture, the normal American culture, and I've tried to be servants. I mean, as Christians, we're called to be servants. And we still sing songs, we still sing worship songs, but um, people like NF and Lecrae and Toby Mac have tried very hard to integrate their songs into society and kind of seen as um, not secular, but very pop music, and it's not as hymny, you know, like hymns, you're reading from the book of hymns, it's not necessarily like that anymore, we're kind of making it more pop culture-y and fun, and it's been, it's playing on the radios now, so anyone can listen to it, anyone can hear it, um, and I feel like Christians are doing a lot of work with other countries and people in our culture like volunteering homeless shelters um, on the streets everyone's called to be a servant and spread the word and I can see how people can see it as a cult but through history I feel like it's very now it's very common people understand what Christianity is um, I think it's very beneficial to society I know it can be seen as detrimental because it causes a lot of controversy and not it's not understood as well from other people's or outsiders points of view but I feel like Christians have worked very hard to change that and I think it's very beneficial I know Douglas S. Winnell I, you, I read this article about how Christianity has shaped the western culture and he talks about he says it has blossomed into hospitals, orphanages, homes for the elderly, and care for the poor and hungry and the homeless. Even many of the greatest and most prominent universities of our day are founded for Christian purposes. This can be seen in GCU. I know GCU, we are very focused on the community around us and um, bettering that and really taking to the homeless. And I've done a lot of volunteering and I've taken servant leadership classes, and this has really um, expanded my knowledge on how to better help the community and help people understand the Christian culture. Um, but overall, this article depicts the American culture, our practices, the religion behind it as very negative and culty and honestly crazy. <laughs> So it was very interesting to read it and kind of hear from a satire, over-exaggerated perspective what it could be seen as. And it was very eye-opening to me personally because I know I've gone on many trips where people do see the American culture and our beliefs and worships and practices as very weird because they are not necessarily, they don't necessarily know but yeah, so it's a very interesting article. I encourage you to read it. Um, and yeah, thank you for listening.